Hey guys, so in this video we're gonna go over how to install LibreLMS. Uh, the process is extremely easy, especially if you use uh, Docker and Docker Compose. Um, this is a very powerful tool, we're not gonna go over it right now, this video is just to do, see how to install it. You could monitor SNMP, syslog, and it's pretty powerful, there's also even alerting and you could make like conditions, uh, how to trigger your alerts, <clears throat> but we'll go over it uh, in another uh, video. And uh, also I want to go over like how we could automate when we're deploying a device in Netbox to auto-populate it here. <clears throat> so uh, you could click here to go to the documentation. Uh, you, you guys could check their website. It's pretty powerful. See uh, who are the sponsors and uh, if you want to buy any uh, gadgets from them. So uh, there is installing uh, NMS now, which is actually with uh, just you install it directly on the server. Uh, and those are the platforms. they tell you what are the platforms that are and like what's the command required uh, we're not gonna do this process because I think that's a I've done it with this it's it's not as easy as I would like you know like um, but it's pretty the documentation is pretty clear and I'm actually did it a couple of times this way but I really recommend do, uh, doing it using docker like um, here it tells you to go to the git repository to uh, to install it it's pretty uh, straightforward like uh, all the documentation is are here like and explaining all the environment variables and like a credential like uh, also environment variables to the credentials of uh, everything here it tells you about the SMT traps and uh, how to set your authentication and which protocol and so on so on to communicate with the database the, and other stuff here um, yeah um, anyway so uh, I usually what I'll do is just uh, um, I clone this uh, repo to my uh, locally on my server but here I'm doing it on my laptop and then what I'll do is I'll go to uh, docker compose So here, example, compose, I mean, like, they like there's like some other variables and stuff like that. Okay, so, and here I say docker dash compose up, and I do dash D just because I don't, like, if you don't do dash D, uh, you'll be, uh, when you, when you want to leave or you do control C, uh, it will uh, cause some problems. And if you want to see the logs, you could do dash F. Uh, that will see, you can see the log and you'll see everything in the background. Usually when you run Docker Compose it takes a lot of time, it needs to download all the images that are available and so on so on. I've already done that so um, I, I don't need to uh, wait for them to, to be to re-download them. And you could go to the port 8000. Uh, the username and password are LibreNMS. I definitely recommend uh, changing them directly, uh, especially if this is a um, um, production network. So manage users here, um, mine is just a lab. So, all right, and here you, you could see the dashboard is empty right now, but it's pretty powerful. It will show you all the devices that are up. Even it shows you the topology, and it shows you, it shows you the topology with like uh, NDP, CDP, and also like based on the ARP. So, uh, which is kind of nice too. It could get crowded, uh, but we could. Um, there's ways to modify that. Uh, here, there, like it tells you, no devices. You want to add a device. You could add a device with SNMP or without SNMP. Um, so just with uh, ICMP uh, and then you just add the device there's also auto discovery uh, you could check it in the documentation and we'll go over it some uh, some other time all right guys just want to make a short video how to install the uh, LibreNMS uh, we'll see you next time